Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Kabaku and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. In the first segment of our daily brief for Friday the 31st of January 2020, we saw during the Asian session global equity markets attempt to regain their footing as investors seek assurances that China can contain the coronavirus even as headlines show more confirmed cases, the death toll rising as well as flight suspension and production pauses at factories. The World Health Organization on Thursday declared a global emergency as the virus spread to more countries, especially to countries with weaker health systems. However, they offered praises in the aggressive manner it was being tackled. The MSCI Broadest Index of Asia-Pacific Shares outside Japan extended its fall, dropping 0.4%, poised for its worst weekly loss in a year of 4.6%. Its 2.3% drop on Thursday had been the sharpest one-day loss in six months. The, the Nikkei is down 2.6% for the week. The S&P added 0.1%, having rebounded 0.5% late on Thursday, while the Eurostox 50 and the FTSE are up 0.5%. In the second segment, we shift our attention to safe, and, safe haven markets where the U.S. 10-year treasuries are down 9 basis points for the week thus far and near 4-month lows. Gold was flat for the week at $15.73.72 per ounce, having failed to get much of a safe haven bid, as a range of other commodity commodities from copper to soybeans were hammered by worries over Chinese dem demand. The yen and the dollar have been beneficiaries of the resulting flight to safety, with the yen being steady at 109 versus the dollar and the greenback stable at 1 spot 10.30 against the euro in, er in morning trading. Against the Australian dollar, the yen has added 3.2% in the 10 days since concerns about the virus began roiling markets. Sterling health firm after jumping on Thursday when the Bank of England confounded markets expectation by not cutting interest rates. The pound was last at 1 spot 31.42 or higher by 0.21%, a relatively calm performance given today is the day the UK officially leaves the EU after years of political turmoil. In the commodities market, oil bounced, bounced on short covering after hitting its lowest in three months as the global spread of the coronavirus threatened to curb the demand for crude oil. WTI gained 89 cents to trade at 53.03 spot a barrel while Brent crude was up 83 cents to trade at 59 spot $12 a barrel. However, during the European session, Brent crude has now fallen by 2.64% to trade at 57 spot $59, while WTI is down on the day by 0.76% to trade at 52 spot $54 per barrel. In our final segment, we assess the economic outlook with analysts at JP Morgan shaving its forecast for global growth by 0.3% points for this quarter to reflect the growing impact. Based on the patterns observed from other epidemic, they assume that the outbreak is likely to run its course over the next two to three months, meaning the hit to activity happens in the current quarter. This is in line with historical experience and they expect a full recovery to follow. Goldman Sachs estimates a 0.4 percentage point hit to the U.S. economy in the first quarter, but said growth would likely rebound in the following quarter, leaving only a small net drag on the U.S. 2020 growth forecast. Goldman Sachs revised China's GDP for 2020 from the 5.9% expectation to 5.5%. As a result of the data that we've received thus far, the focus will be on the coronavirus and the steps being taken by the Chinese government and other countries to contain the virus and prevent for the loss of life whilst assessing the economic impact and growth forecast. This would essentially bring us to the end of today's daily brief. Good luck and good trading.